all, this is a variety kit, and so the iPhone XS Max has just come out. I'm actually going to pronounce it 10 now. I felt at least for the first year that it would be better pronounced iPhone X since it made the whole iPhone line confusing, but I'm going to probably try to start pronouncing it 10 now. So the iPhone XS Max has come out now, and today we're going to do another two-part video series where we talk about reasons why I like the iPhone XS Max better than the Note 9 in this video, and in the next video I'll talk about Ten, uh, no wait, and actually we're talking about 12 reasons. 12 reasons why I like the 10s Max better than the Note 9, and then 12 reasons why I like the Note 9 better than the 10s Max. Okay, so the first one is more software updates. So this is a good feature, like it gives you like more features quicker, um, uh, and also it can help if you have like um uh, like if you have a problem with your phone, um, uh, you get software updates faster on the iPhone 10s Max due to Apple being the main part of iOS because with Android only Google gets the software updates. First. Oh, sorry, my lights um, uh, flickering. But anyways, number two is better IP68 water resistance. So both have what um, uh, both have IP68, but however, with the iPhone 10s Max, you can go down to two meters for 30 minutes, or six feet and 6.74 inches. While on the Note 9, you're just limited to a meter and a half for 30 minutes, or four feet and 11.055 inches. Number three is quad LED versus dual LED True Tone Flash. So I mean, even though the Note 9 does have some other stuff that makes its photos better in low light, which I'll mention in the next video. Um, I, the iPhone X does have quad LED flash instead of dual LED flash, making meaning that you could possibly get like better, um, I, um, meaning you could possibly get brighter low light photos. Number four is Apple and Google Apps. So I mean, sure, the Google Apps don't run as well on the Note um, uh, on the iPhone than they do on the Note 9, but however, with the iPhone, um, However, with the 10s Max, you get both Apple and Google Apps. While on the Note 9, except for maybe Apple Music, you don't get any um, uh, Apple Apps. So it's like you get the best of both worlds. Um, number four uh, is faster performance. Uh, no, no, wait. Number five is faster performance. So this kind of depends on the app, but I'd say at least in some of the heavy-duty apps, or like some of the apps that like, um, uh, like I mean, like apps like. The, um, uh, video editing apps, games, and stuff like that, um, I, I'd say at least, like, some of those are, like, um, I, I'd say at least some of those apps, the iPhone 5 is faster fast charging. So, um, uh, so the iPhone 10s Max charges at 50% in 30 minutes, which that means due to it having a 34, 174 milliamp battery, it charges at, um, uh, it charges at, um, uh, about 52.9 milliamps per minute, while the Note 9 with a 4,000 milliamp battery charges at, a, I'd say, like, I don't know, like 37% in 30 minutes based off of the test I've seen. And, um, uh, and it char so meaning that it, char um, uh, even though the Note 9 has a 4,000 milliamp battery and a considerably bigger battery, the Note 9 charges at, um, a slightly slower rate at 49 point, about 49.33 milliamps a minute which that means that it charges uh, after 30 minutes, it would have a little over, uh, um, uh, a little, it, it would have about, the Note 9 would have about three and a half milliamps less than the iPhone XS Max. And, um, uh, and, um, uh, and there might be some other factors that would make the Note 9's battery life drain even faster. I mean, that's a tiny amount, but however, there are some other factors, like maybe it might be um, uh, like, for example, the Note 9, I think, has a higher clock speed. I mean, the iPhone XS Max's clock speed hasn't officially been announced, but um, I, it probably has a higher clock speed and some other stuff. Number seven is 3D Touch. So sure, you can get the like shortcuts if you press it on the Note 9, but um, I, and you can get a pressure-sensitive home button on the Note 9, but the thing is, is that one, I, um, other than the home button, there's no other pressure-sensitive area. And two, you can't get like the 3D touch click thing inside apps, which actually even the 3D touch is not really 3D touch, it's just like you press an, on an app and it gives you like shortcuts into the app. So, so basically, yeah, the, um, I, the iPhone has like better 3D touch and better um, uh, pressure sensitive areas. Number eight is 60 frames per second on front camera. So like, um, uh, so although it won't make a significant difference on 60 frames per second versus 30 frames per second, um, I could make some of your videos more smoother, like um, I, like if you're moving around a lot and there's like a lot of movement, like um, like the motion blur isn't as bad as on 60 frames per second. 
Number nine is taller screen. So I mean, the iPhone XS Max has a higher aspect ratio than the Note 9, meaning that the um, uh, meaning that the screens meaning that the screen area could be smaller. Add to that the notch at the top. But however, it does have a taller screen, as the iPhone XS Max is 6.46 inches, while the Note 9 is like I'd say uh, I I don't know it's like 6.38 to 6.4 inches. I'll um I uh, I'll probably leave in the comments what its exact diagonal size is. But however, add to that so it has a top so so it's um uh, so it's longer in diagonal length. Add to that it's um a bigger aspect ratio. And the iPhone XS Max ha does have a taller screen, which means you can see more stuff on it. Number 10 is smaller bezel. So, I mean, even though, like I said, the XS Max has a notch, that's its only bezel, while the, Note and, while the Note 9 has bezels on the top and bottom. Oh, yeah, and the iPhone XS Max has a small black bezel that goes around the frame of the phone. Number 11 is portrait lighting on front camera. So, I'm not, so I'm not sure if the Note 9 has portrait lighting on the rear camera, but I know it doesn't on the front camera. And, um, uh, and, and with portrait lighting, there's like studio effects, um, uh, that change the way your portrait photos look, which I feel like I like, and I feel like it, and, um, I, and, and I don't know, I feel like maybe I might want it better on the front camera, but however, there's, um, a portrait lighting on the front camera, and, and, um, I, and actually, while both have portrait lighting on the front camera, I mean, while both have portrait mode on the front camera, I know the Note 9 doesn't have portrait lighting. Number 12 is stainless steel frame versus aluminum. Okay, so while, um, uh, okay, so while both are strong, and if you drop it from anything at least three feet, uh, but, um, uh, um, but not more than seven to seven and a half feet, I'd say that you would be fine, and you should, um, uh, and you should ex expect a light scuff on both, but however, the thing is, is that thanks to the iPhone XS Max's stainless steel band, you should probably expect a lighter scuff. So those were the 12, those were the 12 most important reasons that I could think of on why I like the iPhone XS Max better than the Note 9. I hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, actually I reached 50 subscribers, and I'm actually thinking about adding a YouTube profile picture, so be sure to say what I should add. I'm thinking about maybe adding a picture of myself, but however, um, like most of my thumbnails show a picture of myself already, so that would be a bit redundant, but just let me know in the comments what I should um, uh, do as my YouTube profile. Anyways, I mean, I actually have a lot of iPhone coverage, and I hope to do the Q&A soon. Anyways, I mean, like I said, if I haven't said it yet, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Bye.